What does it take to become a world-class runner or even just a pretty good one? Is it something you're born with or something that you learn? As we'll see today, it all comes down to science. Humans are better at endurance running than almost any other animal. Lots of animals are better sprinters, but when it comes to marathons, humans are hard to beat. A lot of this has to do with how we regulate our body temperature. Most mammals pant to cool down. Only a few, like horses and humans, rely primarily on perspiration to keep cool. Sweat, it turns out, is a big deal. But that's another video. The way our bodies are built also gives us a leg up in the competition. We have long legs, short arms, and large glute muscles that make it easy for us to move on two feet. The tendons and muscles in our legs are incredibly springy. And as we hit the ground with each step, those tendons store lots of kinetic energy that propel us forward like the rubber band on a slingshot. Still, just because humans are good at running doesn't mean every human's a good runner. Wait! Really? Let's look at a runner's form. The mechanics of running are pretty simple. A foot hits the ground, a runner is forced into the air, they reposition their arms and legs, and repeat. The interesting thing is that almost all people spend the same amount of time in that adjustment period in between steps, about 0.3 seconds. So what separates an elite athlete from the rest of us? Force. As we hit the ground with each step, we continue to move forward thanks to momentum. With each step, a runner hits the ground hard. The average runner steps with force equal to three times their body weight. In an Olympic sprinter, it's closer to five. Those springy leg muscles I mentioned earlier use all that force to launch the runner into the air. In other words, faster runners travel farther in between steps. To concentrate the force of each step, runners try to keep their bodies as upright as possible while they run. Their shoes make a difference too. A good pair of running shoes won't turn you from a tortoise to a hare overnight, but if you've got the basics, running shoes do offer advantages. Running shoes provide enough grit for a solid start while cushioning against the force of each step. So, you've got the shoes, the form, and the physics. Ready to try again? Amanda? Those were my shoes! <laughs> Woo!